Good day everyone. In this video, we will discuss the solid waste engineering. At the end of this session, students are able to differentiate the characteristics of solid waste, understand the sources of solid waste within a community, calculate and understand problems related to solid waste engineering, calculate problems related to landfill, and understand the concept of landfill. Now to start with, let us define the solid waste. Solid waste is a generic term used to describe the things we throw away. It includes the lay agents commonly called garbage, refuse, and trash. So the terms uh, refuse and are used more or less synonymously. Solid waste, although the latter term is preferred. So the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency regulatory definition is in broader scope. It includes any discarded item, things destined for reuse, recycle, or reclamation, the sludges, and the hazardous waste. The regulatory definition specifically includes radioactive waste and in situ mining waste. Now let's move on to the characteristics of the solid waste. Solid waste can be classified in several different ways. The point of origin is important in some cases. So classification as the domestic, institutional, commercial, industrial, street, demolition, or construction may be useful. The nature of the material may be important. So classification can be made based on the organic, inorganic, combustible, putressible, and non-putressible fractions. The classification of solid waste is usually used for choosing the treatment, collection, recycling, and the disposal options. Putressible waste is the animal and vegetable waste resulting from the handling, preparation, cooking, and serving of food. It is composed largely of degradable organic matter and moisture. So it also includes small amounts of free liquids. Putressible waste originate primarily in home, kitchens, stores, markets, restaurants, and other places where food is stored, prepared, or served. So basically, putressible waste means that these wastes are degradable. So this type of waste decomposes rapidly, particularly in warm weather, and may quickly produce undesirable odors. Putressible waste have some commercial value as animal food, and as a base for commercial feeds. However, this use may be precluded by health considerations. Next, the municipal solid waste. So this municipal solid waste is commonly known to the lay audience as the garbage, is a subset of solid waste and is defined as durable goods, the appliances, tars, batteries, and etc. Non-durable goods, containers and packaging, food waste, yard trimmings, and miscellaneous organic waste from residential, commercial, and industrial non-process sources. The composition of the municipal solid waste depends on numerous factors including climate, frequency of collection, usage patterns of in-home garbage disposal units, social customs, per capita income, use and density of food, and other material packaging, and recycling patterns. So when we are talking about green chemistry and the green engineering, they are changing the way engineers design and defabricate. Now as we begin to look at the big picture of how engineering decisions affect the environment and our planet's life, we are finally beginning to try to solve environmental problems before they happen. So rather than using the end of pipe treatment techniques, Engineers are attempting to select materials, design manufacturing processes, and enhance energy conservation to minimize their effects on the environment. So where the appropriate effect of these decisions on the municipal solid waste management are considered in the following sections. So these are the sources of solid waste within a community. So as you observed, we have here the typical facilities activities or locations where waste are generated, and the types of the solid waste. So for example, we have here the residential, in which the location are coming from the single family and multifamily detached dwellings. 
low, medium, and high rise apartments, and etc. So the types of solids generated in residential source are the food waste, paper, cardboard, plastics, textiles, leather, yard waste, uh, wood, glass, tin cans, aluminum, other metals, ashes, street leaves, special waste, and the household hazardous waste. Now, another example is the commercial, where the location are coming from the stores, restaurants, markets, office buildings, hotels, motels, print shops, service stations, auto repair shops, and etc. So this type of solid waste are the paper, cardboard, plastics, wood, food waste, glass, metals, special waste, and the hazardous waste. Now for the institutional source, they are coming from the schools, hospitals, prisons, and the governmental centers. So as stated above, these are the food waste. So as stated above, same types of solid waste from the commercial source, like the paper, cardboard, and etc. Another source of solid waste is from the construction and the demolition. So these waste are from the new construction sites, road repair, renovation sites, raising of buildings, broken pavement. So these types of solid waste are the wood, steel, concrete, dirt, and etc. So for the municipal services, uh, they are coming from the street cleaning, landscaping, catch basin, cleaning, parks and beaches, and other recreational areas. So these types of solid waste are the special waste, the rubbish, street sweepings, landscape, and the tree trimmings, catch basin debris, general waste from parks, beaches, and the recreational areas. Now for the treatment plant sites and municipal incinerators, these wastes are from the water, wastewater, and industrial treatment processes and other processes. So the types of solid waste are the treatment plant waste, principally composed of residual sludges. For the municipal solid waste, these are all of the above mentioned. And the types of solid waste are all of the above mentioned. Next, let's move on to the industrial source. So these wastes are coming from the construction, the fabrication, light and heavy manufacturing, refineries, chemical plants, power plants, demolition, and etc. So these types of solid waste are the industrial process waste, scrap materials, non-industrial waste, including food waste, rubbish, ashes, demolition and construction waste, special waste, and the hazardous waste. For the agricultural source, they are coming from the field and row crops, orchards, vineyards, dairies, feed, feedlots, farms, and etc. And these types of solid waste are the spoiled food waste, agricultural waste, rubbish, and the hazardous waste. So that's all for the solid waste engineering part one. And we will discuss the succeeding topics on the next lecture video. Thank you.